Hey, welcome back. This week we're making smoked ribs. So the night before, I like to take my ribs and peel the membrane off of the back. You can do this by using a paper towel. Place your peeled ribs in a giant Ziploc bag with some marinade and put it in the fridge overnight. The next day I took the ribs out of the marinade. I patted them completely dry with paper towels and put them on this rack. Then I seasoned them with my favorite barbecue rub. For the charcoal, we're gonna use a horseshoe pattern. And we're gonna pour a half a can of lit charcoal onto one side of the horseshoe. This is so that it burns slow around the edges, creating the indirect low heat. I have apple wood chunks in there. Now I'm throwing my deflector plates on. We'll add a probe so that we can monitor the grill temp. We want to keep this between 250 and 300. Now that our grill is stabilized at 275, I'll go ahead and add these racks of ribs. Now I'm going to probe the rack for you guys. You want to find the thickest part of the rack and go in between two bones. After about an hour I noticed that the rack of ribs that was near the, the lit side of the horseshoe was cooking a little bit faster. So I went ahead and swapped sides just so that they could even out. After two hours, they got a nice color on them and I'm just checking with my instant read thermometer for doneness. I cut my barbecue sauce with some water and a little splash of apple cider vinegar just to give these ribs some moisture when I wrap them in foil to finish this cook. So we're going to go ahead and wrap these in foil and they're going to come up to temp on the grill a little bit faster this way and they won't be as dried out. Our goal temperature here is 200 degrees. Action. Once our ribs reach 200 degrees, I'm going to take them out of the foil, put them back over the right flame to get a little color on them. Oh, yeah. mm. Don't waste that liquid that's in the bottom of the foil. That's going to be uh, really nice to give it some color when we flip these over in a second.
I like to grow face down first for some color before I put the barbecue sauce. And then we'll come back and hit it with some barbecue sauce after it's got the grill marks on it. voiceovers instead of explaining it in real time. Oh, that's how the pros do it. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, you gotta eat, might as well enjoy it. And while you're at it, go on ahead and subscribe.